Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have some monster recommendations for you. I think this is my third monster romance rec video. I'll leave all the other ones linked down below if you want more recommendations, but I love a monster romance. They are so fun, funny. I could just escape into them and be like, yes, I will definitely take me a man who's nine feet tall, is blue, has horns, and some very fun anatomy. Like, I am all for it, okay? So let's get into these 10 books. All 10 of these books have characters, or one character is a monstrous creature of some sort. First one that I have is Whispers of the Deep by Emma Hamm. This was one of my favorite books of the year so far. I loved this book so much. This is a romance that takes place on a different like planet, but it's not really sci-fi at all because the humans that have migrated to this planet have created an underwater city with like, they live, basically live in domes of cities under the water, okay? Because it's dangerous to live above the water because there's constant hurricanes, monsoons. It's constantly like downpour raining. Like it is very dangerous to live above the sea. Anyway, so the merfolk, I don't, I think, I don't remember what their title is, like what they're actually called in the book, but I would just call them mermaids, okay? Um, these mermaids that live on this planet are natives, okay? And they are not happy about these humans coming in and ruining their land because in order for them to build these underwater cities, they have to burn, ruin the sea floor, right? and take over a bunch of the ocean. The mermaids and the humans have been basically like at war since they moved, right? And the hero is charged with kind of infiltrating the humans at one point, like trying to find their weaknesses. And the heroine is like a mechanic in the city of humans. And she's fixing a crack one day in the glass and the hero, the mermaid, just happens to swim by and notices the crack. And, um. He tries to exploit that definitely and maybe tries to kill her. And then it turns into like a he kidnaps her romance and kidnaps her into like a cave in the middle of the ocean and like they need each other to survive. Like it's so good. I love this one. There's size difference like galore in here, which I love in a monster romance. Okay, this merman is huge. Okay, he is ginormous and he has some anatomy if you will, okay? Okay, and uh, yeah, I just love him. I love him in the way that he softens for a heroine. This one is so good. If you love fantasy books and you maybe want to like dive a little bit deeper into something a little bit more monsterish, I feel like this is a great, great book for you to start with. Next is a really fun one. This is Lady Venom Takes a Mistress by Cat Blackthorn. So this is a sapphic romance. And I don't want to tell you what the monster creature is because you're not really supposed to know what it is because the heroine doesn't know, right? The main heroine, our human is our heroine we get in the point of view of. Lady Venom is our, let's call her a demoness if you will. I won't talk about what she is, okay? She's a demoness, okay? As like a general term, we'll use that. But uh, the heroine has been ostracized from her village and they're basically kind of like out to kill her. And she comes across Lady Venom's castle and she's been warned her whole life, the whole children in the village has been warned their whole life, don't go to Lady Venom's castle, like she's gonna eat you. But Lady Venom ends up saving her and is like, as payment for saving your life, I would love you to become my mistress. It goes from there, this is so fun. And I love like the monster elements in here because I feel like it's so unique. It's just a fun read overall. And I haven't read a lot of sapphic monster romances. So if you want one, please pick this one up. Oh, this one was so fun as well. This is To Ravish a Rogue by Sam Nascosta. This is my favorite book by her. I won't tell you the monster creature of the heroine because they're not really supposed to know. But both characters are like monster creatures. Anyway, so this is kind of like a historical romance book, but also monsters are like common knowledge and they live amongst them, like there's monster shifters, monster creatures. So our hero is kind of like this sea serpent creature and he is the captain of this pirate ship. So it's also pirate romance, which big buzzword for me. Anyway, the heroine needs to find passage to go to her sister, her sister's in trouble. And so she's able to kind of like shape shift a little bit and she's been disguising herself as a cabin boy, but the hero can immediately tell like, that's a woman. And he kind of like plays into it to see how far he can take it to make until this woman like admits that she's a woman. And they're it's forced proximity. They're on this pirate ship together and they're both like monster creatures. It's so fun. It definitely gave me like Pirates of the Caribbean type of vibes, but like with monsters. It was so cool. Next is like a cozy, sweet one. If you have not read 
this series by Ashley Bennett yet, you need to. This is the Leviathan Fitness Series. This is actually the third book, um, and I think I recommended the other two in my other two videos. So the other two books in the series, you have Tegan from book one, she's our human woman heroine, and then the human hero from book two, their, their brother and sister, okay? So the sister gets her own book in book number one, the brother gets his book in book number two, and this is about their mother. This one's about our mother finding her person. Her name is Pam and she is a widow. Her husband passed away, I think a few years ago, and she's very content in her life, living alone with her cat and knitting sweaters for her cat. Uh, but then I think she ends up finding out about this dating app and that's where she meets Alistair who is our Minotaur hero. This is like our world but the like monsters also live in it. Okay so our Minotaur guy is actually in town um, where Pam lives to visit his daughter because his daughter lives there but he actually lives in Colorado which is many states away and they kind of form this long distance relationship that turns into something like definitely more and it's really cozy and sweet and you have a romance with older characters older than you would normally see in a romance book which I really appreciated I love seeing that and it's just so sweet and cute so if you want sweet cute but hot okay don't get me wrong these are sweet cute but they're so hot romances <laughs> You should totally pick this series up. If you want size difference, okay, you got to pick up The Mountain's Mate by Sarah Ivy Hill. I have described this book to my friends who know nothing about monster romances, and they have been like, Avery, what are you reading? <clears throat> and I'm like, I don't know. It was fun, okay? So, <laughs> The Mountain's Mate by Sarah Ivy Hill. Um, <laughs> I think this is also like sci-fi because this takes place on a different planet, but um, our heroine is needing some money. She's a human woman that lives on a planet where most humans are slaves and she's not a slave. And so she has to like be very careful around her surroundings. So no one like kidnaps her, takes her, puts her back into slavery, but she is a free woman. And she is down on her luck with money. Like she cannot afford rent and her landlord is like getting down on her. She's like, no one will hire me to do anything because I'm a human. And she ends up like finding this site online where you can sign up for like odd jobs, right? And so there's this odd job that pays big bucks. She's like, okay, I'll go do that. It doesn't really describe what is gonna happen, but she just agrees. She's like, I need this money. She ends up on our hero's doorstep who actually needs a human to help him infiltrate this um, place where they're like abusing like alien animals and stuff. And he needs a human woman because they're very small. They're very small, humans are small. Because this hero is a giant, like he is, He's an actual giant, like he's a red giant, and this human woman can fit in the palm of his hands. And it's their romance, okay? Um, they're trying to infiltrate this like very bad corporation um, that are abusing animals. They're also like falling for each other. There's one scene, oh my gosh, that literally I'm like, what did I just read? Is like, they're trying to hide from the people they're infiltrating, right? And he can hear them coming down the hall and he's like, hurry, hide. And he just shoves her in his pants. And there's only one thing in your in his pants for her to hold on to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so funny. Anyway, that one's fun. Okay, that one's fun. Found by the Lake Monster by Lillian Lark is my next one. So our heroine of this story, um, she is with a bunch of friends in like the woods, and she ends up getting lost and comes across our hero who is a lake monster. She didn't know that monsters were real, um, but in this universe, like monsters are real, they just are like hidden from humans. I don't know about them in this Lillian Lark universe. Like this all takes place in the um, monstrous matches or monstrous mate series. I can't remember the title of it. The heroine comes across our hero who is actually waiting for a blind date. He was waiting for a witch, a blind date with a witch and he's about to come into heat. He's a lake monster. And um, he thinks that our heroine is his blind date. And she kind of goes along with it to be like, because she doesn't know anything about monsters. She's like, I'm very interested. Like what is going on? And so she kind of just like goes with the flow, but there's obviously some push and pull with that because she's not being truthful about who she is. So I gotta mention a Ruby Dixon book. This is Servant to the Spy Day by Ruby Dixon. This one is really interesting. Okay, so this is kind of like Why Choose, kind of, um, which y'all know I don't like Why Choose romances because I want everybody to be together. You know what I mean? Like I just want everyone. I want it to be like everybody together, okay? Um, not just everyone like fawning over this one person. However, this one is interesting because we met these characters in the other books in Ruby Dixon's fantasy romance series. So this is a part of her fantasy romance series. You don't need to read the other books to read this one, but I feel like you 
understand it better if you did. So Yelena is our heroine in this story. She's a human woman living in this fantasy realm and in the other book in the series, I think in book number one, um, she ends up offering herself as the mates to the spyae, which are these three monster spider creatures of fate. They kind of remind me of the fates from like Hercules, you know, that share like the eyeball. You have like one that sees the present, one that sees the past, one that sees the future. And they all consider her to be their mate. However, it's kind of like all three creatures are kind of one being. They just have, it just has three bodies. Like, you know, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's really interesting. Um, but if you are not a fan of spiders, I don't know if you'd read this one because the, the men themselves, the males themselves, aren't really spider-ish. They do like weave thread and stuff like that, but there are spiders like throughout the whole castle that they're staying in, like moving stuff. Like the spiders are helpful. Like the spiders do stuff. The spiders cook, the spiders clean in the house for Yelena. So there's spiders in here. Um, but I am care of spiders and I didn't really care about that. So take with that what you will. One that is absolutely ridiculous. Like I was cackling my butt off reading Monster Island by Beatrix Hollow. This book is like bizarre. I don't know how she thought of this, how Beatrix Hollow thought of this, but like, girl, what were you thinking? Like, how did this come from your brain? So our heroine of this story is actually in jail. There's like two things that could happen to you if you go to jail, right? You could stay in jail for the rest of your life or you can choose to be on Monster Island. Monster Island is a reality TV show, okay? Where convicts get dropped onto an island full of monsters on reality TV and basically die. It's a reality TV show of these monster creatures on this island killing humans, okay? And the heroine is like, well, I don't wanna stay in jail for the rest of my life, so I'm gonna go to Monster Island, but she doesn't go there to like survive and kill monsters. She's there because she dreams about doing something else with them, if you know what I mean. Like she dreams of it. This book is so ridiculous, but it's so fun. Like it's so funny. This one is also ridiculous because it's a Layla Faye book. Like what? Like Layla Faye, like she knows how to write the redonkulous books. Keep me so entertained. And I'm like, how did she think of this? Okay, so this is Draco by Layla Faye. Um, <laughs> our heroine in here is like the clumsiest person in the entire world, has the most horrible luck. She doesn't know this, she's actually cursed. She has a curse put on her, she doesn't know this. She doesn't know about curses, magic, monster creatures knows nothing um and our hero draco is like this renowned chef but he's also a dragon creature okay but he has like this glamour i think so like humans don't know about him anyway the heroine gets hired to work in his restaurant and he notices about like the hex on her and he tries to like help her with it um and he's like in return you need to help me with something i don't want to spoil that because <laughs> it's so ridiculous okay i don't want to spoil that um but this book is really fun okay it's really fun if you want like a dragon creature who knows how to cook pick this novella up and the last one that i have is absolutely ridiculous okay it's called the ogre's pet it's by cassandra cross i think i heard about this book from hannah blackwell so thanks hannah <laughs> <laughs> this book is interesting so our heroine is like running away from these guys that are trying to like kill her and she goes into the woods even though she's been warned her entire life don't go into the woods they're dangerous there's a dangerous creature in there she ends up getting taken by this ogre. So there's size difference because he's ginormous. And yeah, it's their romance after he kidnaps her. So it's a short novella that is absolutely ridiculous, but uh, was laughing so hard. I don't take these books too seriously. They're like palate cleanser books that I need when I need something fun or something to make me laugh or put a smile on my face. Anyways, there you have it. <laughs> Those are 10 more monster romance recommendations for you. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me. What emoji are we gonna do? Let's do a spider. <laughs> a spider emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.